Hello everyone, hope you had a great New Year's. So I got a question about what ink you can use for a rotring pen and what ink you can use for a fountain pen. So the question I got was, can I use ink that is for a fountain pen and a rotring pen or vice versa, such as the ink from a rotring pen and a fountain pen? Now the short answer is no. The reason is because the ink that is for a fountain pen is a different ink than what you use for the rotring pens. The ink that is in these pens is a lot thinner, it's more fluid, and it flows through the tip of the pen a lot faster. So if you go to take this ink from this pen and try to use this in your rotring pen, you're going to run into issues of overflowing too much ink coming out. And if you use this pen, the ink that is for this, and you try to put it into the fountain pen, the issue you're going to run into is the pen is going to start clogging up. And you're going to have issues with trying to get the pen cleaned out. Um, and so it's just going to clog up. It's not going to get very clean. And it's not going to flow from the tip of the pen very well. So this is the ink that I use for my Rotring Isographs. It's an off-brand of the Rotring um, name brand ink. And this is waterproof. It's a drawing ink. And I got these online for about a dollar each. They're on clearance, so I've got about a hundred of these. But anyways, this ink is waterproof, and it's a drawing ink for the isograph pen specifically. If you try to use this ink in your fountain pen, what's going to happen is you're going to have a hard time cleaning it out. Because with the fountain pens, there is a different cleaning solution that is used for these so the cleaning solution that is in these pens, a lot of times what you use is not going to be a waterproof um, cleaning solution, or it's not made to clean waterproof ink. So when you're cleaning out your fountain pen, what's going to happen is it's going to get clogged up, the ink isn't going to come out very well, and then you're going to ruin the pen. It's actually pretty complex inside of a fountain pen, and I'll give you an example of that. Now, the inside of this fountain pen there is the reservoir here and then you have the nib and then there's a feed on the inside of this now the feed that is in this the way it's made it is made specifically for this pen and this pen's ink so if you go putting ink from a different pen inside of this it's going to get clogged up um, the one I have here I've got to refill and clean out I actually ran out of ink last night while I was drawing had to switch to a different pen but this is one of my refillable fountain pens um, you have some fountain pens that have a cartridge the isographs they have um, a reservoir that you can refill on the inside of it as you can see here now you're able to get more ink that you can um, hold in a fountain pen than what you can hold with a isograph pen they've generally got bigger reservoirs and this here is my Noodler's Ahab. And it's got a much larger reservoir than um, my isograph pens that I got. So the inks that I have here. Now this is the um, off-brand waterproof ink that I use for my roaching isographs. This is an India ink which is used for, um, people use it for calligraphy and um, illustration, drawing, stuff like that. As you can see here, this is a water resistant ink and this is going to be harder to clean out of a pen than something that's not waterproof. So just make sure that you read up and research on the pen before you go putting a different type of ink in it because some manufacturers have ink made specifically for that pen so make sure you check that out before um, putting different ink in it. And this here is the Noodler's Heart of Darkness. This is the ink that I use for the Slammy Safari. I also use it for my Noodler's Ahab, but I prefer using it in my Slammy Safari because this one has a finer nib on it. And when I'm using it, I can get finer details than this one. And it's kind of a, a dry writing ink, so I can get... Um, much more details and I don't have to worry about the ink spreading out as much because it doesn't really flow through the tip of the pen. Um, 
as fluidly as the other other wet wet type of inks. So the rotoring isograph to give you more um, detailed look at this. As you can see here, the tip of the pen, it's got a really fine nib on it. This one is the 0.35. Now, if I was to take ink from a fountain pen, such as the Newler's um, Heart of Darkness, if I was to take that and put this in this pen, it's too fluid. The fluidity of it would just flow through the tip of the pen, and I'm just going to get ink all over the place. And another issue you could have is because the ink is more fluid, it's not as thick, it's more likely to dry up a lot faster. So if you're using an isograph or a pen that has a small, really small nib, such as this pen here, this one has a 0.18. And the nib of it is really fine. And if I was to use the fountain pen ink in this, it would get clogged up. Um, well, at first it would just gush ink out of it, and you'd have trouble drawing. And second of all, you'd have a hard time cleaning it out afterwards because it's going to dry up so much because it's a thinner ink and it's not as thick as the um, rotating isograph ink. And so you're going to have a hard time cleaning it. It's going to dry up and you'll probably, you could possibly ruin the pen doing that if you use the wrong inks in them because of the way that they're made, they're designed for a certain type of ink. And so, yeah, don't want to do that. And I've, I've been asked about, you know, what inks you can use for pens and, you know, what specific ink can I use for this pen. And I'll, I'll be making more videos in the future about the exact inks you can use for each pen. But I want to make a overview, a general overview of all of this to help everybody out so they don't ruin their pens. Um, because fountain pens and isographs cost a lot more than your standard pens, such as maybe one of these or like a technical pen that you can get for you know maybe 50 cents or a dollar each if you buy them in a big pet like big set so just make sure you're using the right ink for these um i made the mistake one time of um putting the wrong ink in this on accident and i had to buy another one because it kept drying up over and over on me i couldn't figure out why and what was going on and i had accidentally used the wrong ink I have all of my ink bottles um, set together and I accidentally grabbed the wrong one because I wouldn't pay attention. I put a fountain pen ink in this and the ink kept leaking out, leaking out the end of it and then after a while it just dried up and it was ruined and I tried drawing with it and the nib got bent so I had to buy another one. And with these pens, because they have such a fine nib, um, if they dry up really bad and you have a hard time getting the ink out of the end of it. Um, something I've seen people have happen to them on accident is they'll be trying to clean the pen and they take the whole inside of this out to try to clean it. But with these 0.18s, the nib is so small, that little small wire that is on the inside of that um, sometimes can very easily get bent. And it is extremely hard to get that small uh, metal nib back into this pen because it's there's a tiny little hole inside of this that it has to fit in and so I had an issue with um, an off-brand type of a uh, rotating isograph it was called the um, Isomars Technoart which is the same name of uh, this ink here That's, that was the brand of the um, isograph I was using it was a cheaper cheaper pen and so when I was using those I had the pen dry up on me and I went to clean it, I made the mistake of taking the little metal nib out of it because the one I was using was a .13 and I couldn't get the nib back in. When I finally managed to get the nib back in, um, it bent slightly and I was never able to draw with it again, so just completely ruined it. Now, the inks that I have here, these three, are for different pens. This is for Roaching isographs, fountain pens, and this is a black India ink. I use it for my uh, like, like uh, dipping pens in and stuff like that. Just make sure you're using the proper ink for your fountain pen and not mixing them together. Um, I want to save, save everybody the hassle of having to not go out and buy a whole new pen and uh, wasting a lot of money. So, hope you found this helpful and. Just remember to pay attention to what ink you're using and don't make the mistake like I did and 
putting all of your inks together. I actually have my ink separated now to where I have all the ink bottles over here by my rotating isographs and all of my ink with my fountain pens so I don't get them mixed up and make the mistake of using the wrong one. Especially if I'm really tired and it's been a long day and doing a lot of drawing. So hope you found this useful and hope you had a great new year and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go work on some drawings and you have a great day.